In recent years, diabetes has taken a prestigious third place among severe diseases leading to adverse consequences for humans. Only cardiovascular diseases and oncology are ahead. Watch the video to the end to learn not only about the manifestations and features of this disease, but also about its earliest symptoms. We will tell you how to prevent the development and progression of the disease without using medications, and who should be particularly vigilant due to the possible onset of diabetes and the appearance of its unpleasant consequences. A brief overview of the disease. Around 350 million people suffer from diabetes on Earth, according to statistics based on registered cases of the disease. Diabetes is a pathological condition, a metabolic disorder in which glucose is poorly absorbed by cells, leading to an increase in blood sugar levels. This results in various clinical manifestations. The person's bloodstream suffers because the blood thickens, flows slower, and the likelihood of intravascular thrombosis increases. As a result, tissue nutrition is disrupted. Blood circulation in capillaries slows down, nerve fiber conductivity is impaired, and cellular energy supply becomes insufficient. Diabetes occurs if insufficient insulin is produced in the pancreas. Cells become less responsive to the action of insulin. In the first case, it is called type 1 diabetes, and in the second, type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes develops with age due to insufficient insulin activity and a decrease in its ability to enter cells. In other words, there is enough insulin produced, but its functionality is compromised. Insulin, in general, is a hormone produced by the pancreas that affects the absorption and utilization of glucose, regulates carbohydrate metabolism, and controls blood sugar levels. Diabetes is a chronic, incurable disease. Patients must constantly adhere to a diet and take medications. Otherwise, severe complications may develop. Diabetes contributes to generalized atherosclerosis development, increasing the likelihood of stroke and heart attack, impaired blood supply to the lower extremities, leading to pronounced trophic changes and the formation of diabetic foot, peripheral nerve disturbance, leading to neuropathy, constant pain sensations, and limb dysfunction, kidney failure due to damage to renal vessels, impaired tissue regeneration, poor and prolonged healing even of superficial wounds, frequent inflammations due to increased activity of bacterial microflora, decreased immunity, leading to a higher likelihood of infection with infectious diseases. Diabetes is difficult to treat. Blood sugar levels must be constantly monitored. Taking glucose-lowering agents can lead to fluctuations in blood glucose levels from high to very low. Reducing glucose concentration, hypoglycemia, is characterized by severe weakness, tremors, and loss of consciousness. Such fluctuations from hyperglycemia to hypoglycemia adversely affect a person's health. Like many diseases, Diabetes is easier to prevent than to treat. Preventive measures To prevent metabolic disorders leading to serious illness, it is necessary to lead a healthy lifestyle, which means monitor your diet, minimize consumption of fatty and sugary foods, increasing the intake of vegetables and fruits. Proper nutrition is the cornerstone of diabetes prevention. Increase physical activity, work more, engage in sports, and don't neglect morning exercises. Try to stress less, ensure adequate sleep, and develop stress resilience. Avoid regular consumption of alcohol and smoking. If consuming alcohol, prefer red dry wine, but no more than one glass a day. Refrain from all forms of smoking, including e-cigarettes. Such simple, well-known preventive measures can help avoid not only diabetes, but also other serious illnesses. Diabetes triggers. Type 1 diabetes often has a hereditary component, and the insulin synthesis disorder is genetically determined. Other risk factors for this type of diabetes include acute and chronic infections involving the pancreas, such as mumps, recurrent pancreatitis, pancreatic tumor, post-traumatic pancreatic dysfunction. Type 2 diabetes occurs against the background of normal insulin secretion, but reduce cell sensitivity to it. 
This type of disease is often diagnosed in elderly people, but can also occur at a young age. Sometimes it develops in women during pregnancy. Shortly after childbirth, blood sugar levels return to normal. However, type 2 diabetes is often diagnosed several years later. Other predisposing factors include excess weight, obesity, lipid metabolism disorders, high cholesterol levels, hormonal dysfunction, cardiovascular diseases, mostly sedentary lifestyle, inadequate physical activity, prolonged maintenance of glucose levels at the upper limit of normal, with predisposing factors present. It is possible to maintain blood sugar levels within normal limits for a long time by using simple home remedies and adjusting the diet. Main symptoms of the disease. There are no specific symptoms peculiar to diabetes. Clinical manifestations vary. They occur due to changes in the water electrolyte balance and acidification of the body, disturbances in blood fluidity, rheological properties, development of metabolic shifts, addition of bacterial, fungal, viral inflammation, decrease in immune activity, deterioration of tissue regenerative properties, leading signs of diabetes, increased thirst, constant desire to drink regardless of food intake, and weather conditions linked to blood thickening due to high sugar concentration, frequent urination associated with the consumption of large amounts of fluids. Urination mostly occurs during the day. Urges are not accompanied by discomfort or pain. Body temperature remains normal. Urination is abundant. Urine is transparent but may become sticky due to sugar content. Onset of hunger pangs. Desire to eat arises even immediately after meals and only slightly subsides during eating. Particularly craving for sweets, persistent dry mouth, dental and gum problems such as cavities, enamel deterioration, darkening, rapid accumulation of tartar, increased tooth sensitivity to acidic and spicy, hot and cold foods, gum loosening, periodontal disease, tooth rocking and loss. Recurrent, often recurring stomatitis. Presence of thick coating on the tomb. Appearance of sores and cracks on the lips. Skin problems, often itching, especially intensifying at night. Itch without specific localization. Spreading throughout the body. Skin is dry, thin, dull. Appearance of dark spots on the skin, especially around the eyes, in the groin, and in the armpit area. Tendency to develop pustular skin conditions, often manifesting as boils, pimples, furuncles, poor healing even of small wounds and cuts, prolonged presence of traces from microtrauma, superficial splinters, and other epidermal defects, rapidly progressing deterioration of vision, decreased visual acuity, appearance of blurred contours of objects. Flickering of floaters before the eyes. Sensation of numbness in the fingers on the hands and feet. Decreased sensitivity to touch. Temperature fluctuations in the environment for the feet and palms. Unexplained weakness. Rapid fatigue. Reduced performance. Increased sweating even with minor physical exertion. Sleep disturbances. Constant feeling of anxiety. Frequent mood swings. Tendency to depression amid unstable blood sugar levels in individuals with diabetes. Serious complications can develop. These can be triggered by a sudden increase in blood sugar levels or a rapid drop in glucose concentration. These acute complications and their consequences are observed within hours or even minutes. In both cases, consciousness disturbance is noted characterized as hyperglycemic coma with elevated sugar levels or hypoglycemic coma with decreased levels. The normal fasting glucose level is 3 to 5 mole slash L, not exceeding 7.8 mole slash L after meals. Hypoglycemic coma occurs when blood sugar levels drop below 2.5 mole slash L and hyperglycemic coma when blood glucose concentration exceeds 30 mole slash L. 2. Chronic complications arise from sustained elevation of blood sugar. They manifest gradually, with clinical symptoms worsening and often leading to severe consequences. These complications include retinopathy, affecting the structure of the eye's vascular membrane, leading to retinal detachment and sharp vision loss, maculopathy, 
optic nerve disc edema due to changes in the retina, characterized by rapidly progressive visual impairment up to complete blindness, nephropathy, kidney dysfunction, deterioration of kidney filtration capacity, edema, symptoms of renal failure, manifested by an increase in waste products in the blood, organism intoxication, polyneuropathy, peripheral nerve damage, resulting in slowed impulse conduction along nerve trunks, leading to numbness, pain, tingling sensations, prickling. Limbs are often affected. Progressive vascular and nerve damage in the lower extremities due to diabetes can lead to a complication known as diabetic foot. This is a complex of changes in the foot related to nerve, vascular, bone, joint damage, increasing the likelihood of trauma and inflammation of the skin and soft tissues. Diabetes contributes to the development of vascular insufficiency in the lower extremities, hypertension, ischemic heart disease. Against this background, there is a high risk of vascular thrombosis. All these conditions can also be considered complications of hyperglycemia, the first signs of predisposition to diabetes and what can and cannot be eaten with it. Everyone should consider the possible development of diabetes and try to avoid or minimize contributing factors. The disease can start with symptoms such as sudden, unexplained weight changes, either increase or decrease, frequent headaches unrelated to intoxication, stress, or anxiety, worsening vision, blurred vision, seeing double, fluctuations in blood pressure, persistent hypertensive episodes, increasing shortness of breath without signs of respiratory or cardiovascular insufficiency, high activity of fungal infection, recurrent fungal skin and mucous membrane infections, appearance of darker skin areas, predominantly on elbows, neck, and knees, non-healing wounds and cuts, formation of rough scars and keloids at the site. If any of these symptoms are present, and there is no explanation for their occurrence. One should consider the possibility of developing diabetes. First, check your blood sugar levels, and if elevated, immediately consult a doctor. If sugar levels are still normal, increase physical activity, as muscles help break down glucose faster. Also, pay attention to what you eat. It's worth excluding or at least significantly limiting the consumption of white rice and refined wheat flour bakery products. White processed rice practically lacks fiber, so glucose is readily absorbed in the intestines and quickly enters the bloodstream. White bread made from refined flour breaks down instantly, causing carbohydrates to enter the bloodstream rapidly. Any sweets made with added sugar, Overly sweet dishes and products containing a lot of sugar can significantly spike blood glucose levels in a short period. Carbonated drinks and packaged juices. Sweet sodas, due to numerous bubbles, pass easily through the thin intestinal mucosa, leading to an increase in blood glucose levels. Sausage products, processed meats, besides trans fats and various fillers, they often contain excess salt and sometimes sugar disrupting proper metabolism, fast cooking dishes, any type of fast food. They are high in fat, salt, and calories, which elevate glucose levels, disrupt kidney function, and raise blood pressure. Full fat milk, sweet fruits, and high sugar vegetables. These include pineapples, melons, grapes, dates, beets, and potatoes, condensed milk, and ice cream. These beloved products contain sugars and fats, fatty types of fish, meat, and poultry. Excess fats combined with high caloric content maintain high blood sugar levels. Preference should be given to foods that lower blood sugar levels. Chicory drink or sugar-free rose hip decoction. These vitamin mineral beverages contain enzymes that accelerate biochemical reactions. As a result, carbohydrate and sugar breakdown occurs faster and glucose levels in the blood decrease. Fresh greens, onions, and garlic promote optimal metabolism, reducing the likelihood of slowing down all chemical transformations. Oatmeal, which has coating properties and contains fiber. 
These ingredients prevent complete sugar absorption. Cinnamon aids in sugar excretion. Sesame seeds normalize and stabilize lipid metabolism. Turkey meat restores metabolism. Non-sweet black and green tea containing tannins that hinder glucose absorption. Various spices added to cooked dishes accelerate biochemical reactions leading to increased glucose expenditure. Herbal teas help maintain overall body stability. In most cases, adhering to a proper diet can prevent the onset of diabetes and even halt its progression, especially in the early stages. Dietary Guidelines To maintain optimal metabolism, reduce the risk of developing diabetes, and preserve health, certain rules should be followed. First and foremost, Consider foods in terms of their glycemic index. This understanding should be embraced as a lifestyle. The glycemic index indicates the carbohydrate content in foods. Carbohydrates are quickly absorbed, broken down into glucose, and provide energy. However, when there are too many or the body cannot quickly utilize sugars, blood glucose levels increase. Therefore, in cases of potential diabetes or in the early stages of the disease, preference should be given to foods with a low glycemic index. The glycemic index of foods ranges from 0 to 100, with 100 being the glycemic index of glucose. Foods with a high glycemic index are quickly absorbed, immediately raising blood sugar levels. All products can be divided into low glycemic index, if it is less than 55, medium, ranging from 56 to 6 to 9, high, when it is above 70. In case of predisposition to diabetes, it is advisable to choose products and dishes with low and medium glycemic indexes. Other dietary rules include sufficient consumption of foods containing dietary fiber and cellulose. These ingredients regulate intestinal motility, promote the excretion of not only waste, but also cholesterol and glucose excess, and improve the condition of the intestinal mucosa. Minimize the intake of animal saturated fats, which lead to increased caloric intake, slowed carbohydrate metabolism, and prolonged high blood sugar levels. Prefer plant fats or products containing beneficial and saturated fatty acids, with the richest sources being fatty fish, avocado, and walnuts. Prefer homemade meals as only then can you be sure of the optimal composition of ingredients and the absence of harmful substances. Eat at least four times a day, using unsweetened fruits, dried fruits, low-fat yogurt, or nuts for snacks. Try to avoid dishes with added ready-made sources such as mayonnaise or ketchup, as well as margarine. Replace them with natural dairy products and add vegetable seasonings. Monitor your weight closely and avoid gaining excess weight. Excess kilograms lead to decreased cell sensitivity to insulin, increasing the risk of diabetes and all its related consequences. A balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle can help protect against many health problems, including diabetes.